If you want a good understanding of the new 2020 in colors from Stampin' Up! Keep watching and I'll walk you through a quick review of them. Hi, this is Sage Kimball and I'm the Mad Stamper with another color video for card makers and paper crafters. I'm always excited to see the new in colors every year. I want to show you where they each fit in the spectrum of Stampin' Up! colors and the combinations that I think work best. I'll be going through color combinations quite quickly. You can download a list of the names of the colors I show you so you don't have to try to write them all down. I'll be using the color wheel to help show you the combinations I've chosen. I could have combined each new color with more options, but that would make the video too long. I think this is enough for you to get a good sense of what works, then you can expand the choices from there. For example, you could substitute one yellow for another, or one blue for another. If you want to learn more about using a color wheel to help you make awesome combinations, use the link provided to learn about the new color class. It will help you understand the properties of colors, just like I'll be describing in this video. I used analogous color schemes in the sample cards I made. This means the colors are next to each other on the color wheel. These combinations are easy to use and feel quite harmonious. I'll also show you some complementary color schemes, which are colors that are opposite each other on the wheel. They're very high contrast combinations that can be challenging to use effectively, but when you get one right, it can be stunning. First is Bumblebee. This is a lovely yellow, similar to crushed curry, although it's lighter and more muted or muddy. That tells me it has some white or gray in it. On one side of yellow are the yellow greens, like Old Olive and Mossy Meadow. You can even move into the bluer greens, like Shaded Spruce and Garden Green, which cool down the warm yellow a bit. I'm really liking Bumblebee with Shaded Spruce. On the other side of yellow are oranges. So Bumblebee combines well with Cajun Craze, Pumpkin Pie, and Poppy Parade, which is a red-orange. The colors opposite Bumblebee are purples and red-purples. The complementaries I like best are Rich Raspberry, Merry Merlot, and Gorgeous Grape. This is another combo I really like. On my sample card, I combined Bumblebee with Poppy Parade for the butterfly layers then put them on a background of Mary Merlot. I used the new Cinnamon Cider for the mat and the card base. Now let's look at Cinnamon Cider. This is a very warm brown, somewhat rosy, with tones in the orange to red purple zone. It's actually kind of like a chameleon. If I put it next to yellow, it looks like it has yellow tones. If I put it next to red purple, it looks rosier. It goes well with yellows, as you saw in the last card. I especially like it with Mango Melody, which is a very orange yellow. And I especially like it's easy to combine with other orange tones, like Pumpkin Pie, Cajun Craze, and the more rosy corals, Calypso Coral and Terracotta Tile. It's lovely with pinks as well, which bring out more rose than orange tones in the cinnamon. Try it with Rococo Rose, Blushing Bride, and Petal Pink. If you move up into the purples, you'll find Mary Merlot and Rich Razzleberry bring out the rose tones as well. As a neutral, cinnamon should look good with most colors, but the only blues I like it with are Misty Moonlight and Night of Navy. In the green part of the spectrum, I like cinnamon with yellow greens, which enhance its warmth. Granny Apple Green, Old Olive, and Mossy Meadow. For my sample card, I combined cinnamon with Merry Merlot and Mango Melody. Merlot enhances the rose tones of cinnamon in the butterflies, and the mango accentuates the richness of this combination. Just Jade is my favorite of the new colors. It's a bluish green with enough white in it to make it really yummy. 
It's quite different than any other Stampin' Up! color that I've seen. At first I thought it might be close to Lost Lagoon, an in color from 2014. But when I put them next to each other, I can see that Lagoon is much more blue and much more muted, meaning it has a lot of gray in it. Jade combines well with blue-greens, like mint macaron and shaded spruce. The somewhat muted Pretty Peacock highlights the soft, rich tone of Just Jade. And it's spectacular with purples, like Gorgeous Grape, Rich Razzleberry, and Blackberry Bliss. Green and red are opposite each other on the color wheel. So complementary colors for Just Jade would be pinks, like Rococo Rose. Or if you want something even more dramatic than that, you could go with a very bright, flirty flamingo. I'm a big fan of green and purple together. So I combine jade with shaded spruce, mint macaron, and blackberry bliss. I love the way the blackberry bliss gives some extra contrast to make the other colors stand out. Magenta Madness is an in-your-face bright pink, somewhat close to the current Melon Mambo, but much lighter and brighter. I'm not a fan of such vibrant brights, so like to tone it down with cooler colors. But if you like brights, you may find this a really exciting color. I like it as an accent color with Night of Navy, which tones down the overall brightness of the combination. Analogous colors are pinks, and Flirty Flamingo is bright enough to hold its own with Magenta Madness. It falls in the area of reds on the color wheel, opposite the yellow-greens. Complementary colors would be Old Olive, or if you want to go really bright, try it with Granny Apple Green. I prefer moving over one slice to the bluer greens, like Garden Green or Shaded Spruce. Close to magenta on the color wheel is purple, and it combines beautifully with Gorgeous Grape. If you move in the other direction from magenta, you get into reds and red-orange. Poppy Parade makes an effective combination because it is also quite bright. When combined with a more muted red, like Cherry Cobbler, it can make the cherry look drab. I often like to utilize a little wider slice of the wheel than strictly analogous combinations. Here you can see that magenta works well with the blues and blue-greens, especially bright ones like Pacific Point and Bermuda Bay. In the sample card, I layered Magenta Madness with Gorgeous Grape for the very appealing butterflies. The background for them is Petal Pink, which acts like a neutral against the two brights. Our final in color is Misty Moonlight, a lighter, more muted navy than Night of Navy, and the two make a good combination when another color is added. It combines well with the pastel blues, like Seaside Spray and Balmy Blue, and it combines well with Pretty Peacock, because they have about the same amount of muddiness. On the green side of the spectrum, it looks good with Garden Green and Old Olive, because they don't accentuate its muddiness. Misty Moonlight blends well with the blue grays, like Smoky Slate and Basic Gray. Moonlight will do well with colors on the purple side of blue, like Gorgeous Grape, Rich Razzleberry, Blackberry Bliss, and Merry Merlot. For a complementary combination, blue is opposite orange on the wheel. I prefer moonlight with the corals, like Calypso Coral and Terracotta Tile. On this card, I combined Misty Moonlight with Seaside Spray for the butterflies. Then I needed a darker background because of the pastel seaside and found Pretty Peacock worked very well. Thanks for watching. Please like this video, share it with your friends, and leave me a comment.
For more inspiration and instructions, be sure to sign up for my newsletter at www.stampingmadly.com. Visit me on Facebook and Pinterest, and don't miss another great video. Subscribe to the Mad Stamper YouTube channel now.